Let's start out making a confession of faith over us and our family. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family. Today is the day of my salvation and my family's salvation. That's healing, health, rescue, deliverance, wholeness. I have the mind of Christ. I have the wisdom of God. I always make right choices and right decisions. All of my paths are peace. I'm filled with the love of God. And I am abundantly supplied with the fatness of my father's house. I do not lack for any good thing. And with his stripes, I am healed and made perfectly whole. And as we acknowledge and confess that, Jesus performs his word for us. So the word of God, our treasure, our the most valuable possession that we have, it's like having a gold mine in your hands. One of the reasons we're looking at 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Well, we've already looked at doctrine and reproof. And if you're very serious about being a son and or daughter of God and wanting to grow up in him in all things, you're going to love this. Because the next one we're going to look at today is that the Word of God is profitable for our correction. Early on in my Christian life, and for several years actually, I had such a fear of being corrected by God. I tried so hard to do everything right because I, I didn't want to have to be corrected by Him because I thought that He would do something like, maybe make me sick or allow sickness or um, some bad circumstance or accident or something like that. And truthfully, in many people's mind, that is, um, that is a, a thought that is prevalent in a lot of Christians' minds when they get sick. Well, I wonder what the Lord's trying to teach me. He's not trying to teach you anything. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And it's Satan that is trying to steal your health, try to destroy your life, steal the abundant life that Jesus has purchased for you. So no, God does not do those things. And in James, he says, let no man say when he's tempted of God that he's tempted with evil, for God cannot be tempted with evil neither tempt see any man. So God never, 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 ever allows or brings sickness or disease or um, a bad or an accident or a bad circumstance or anything like that. And well, people say, well, yeah, but he allowed it. No, we have the choice, remember? God tells us, I set before you life and death, blessing cur and cursing, you choose. So he only allows what you allow. It's not his will that you ever be sick, that you ever have an accident, that you ever have an injury or your family because Jesus, he sent Jesus to redeem us from every type of destruction, from financial destruction, from family destruction, from marriage destruction, from physical destruction. He has redeemed us from all of that. So saints, it's up to us to learn what belongs to us and take hold of it. So the word of God, and this was the scripture that set me free on that. And so now I welcome correction and uh, I encourage you as well to welcome correction from your father. The word of God is profitable for correction. So how does God correct us? He corrects us with his word by the Holy Spirit. In Proverbs chapter 
29, verse 17, he says, correct your son and he shall give you rest. Yes, he shall give delight unto your soul. And in Proverbs 3, 11, he says, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. So we know when he corrects us, he's only doing it because he loves us. And again, how does he correct? He corrects with his word by the Holy Spirit. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects even as a father, the son in whom he delights. So when the Lord corrects you with his word, you can automatically know he loves me. He delights in me. And that's why he's correcting me. The word correction in the Greek means straightening up again, reformation, and a de dictionary definition means setting right. So I was thinking about just um, a parallel for the natural realm. And I went back in my mind to when we were in grammar school and we were learning math. And we would um, go over our homework and go over tests. And if we missed a problem, the teacher would tell us, okay, mark it wrong and then make the correction. And if we didn't understand how to, we would ask the teacher how to make the correction. Where did I miss this? Why? Because we wanted to get it right and to learn because everything you learn is a foundation for the next level of whatever it is. And so we would um, make those corrections. So the first reason is so that we would know what was right and it would be right in our mind, we would learn it right. And then the second reason we would make the correction is so that we would not um, do it again. We wouldn't make that same mistake again. And you know, now as adults, you use math in so many areas of life. And I encourage you, if you have children, to make sure they are learning mental math and not relying on a calculator. And then another uh, example that came to my mind, oh, let me go back and share this. Frank had a teacher when he was in third or fourth grade in grammar school, and the teacher never corrected or checked their homework. And so consequently, he told me, he said, I got to where, what's the use of doing it? Because it was never corrected. So he got to where he just never did it. Well, that teacher was not a good teacher. A good teacher is going to have your best interest at heart and is going to be diligent to make sure that you learn what you need to learn. Well, our father is a good teacher teacher. So um, very important that a teacher takes the time to make corrections so that the students will learn and have that in their foundation that they know what's right and don't make that same mistake. Then another example came to me. Oh, we'll have to pick up on this tomorrow. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God for the word that brings correction to us as sons and daughters of the Most High God.